Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've, after that little bit of entertainment with Shamsi, and you're I'd, all about I'd like to go, I'd like to go on to a more serious topic. And the YouTube hits. I want to talk uh, about the, the hypocrisy of NATO. The hypocrisy of NATO in its actions and condemnations of Russia and what Russia is doing in the Ukraine. I want to be clear. I condemn the actions of Russia in the Ukraine. But what I want to draw into question is whether NATO has a moral high ground in its attitudes to Russia. And the reason why I want to question whether NATO has a moral high ground in its actions over Russia is because of the invasion that NATO and allied forces did in Serbia, in Kosovo, where, where, under the guise of Western control, they seized land that belonged to Serbia and they stole that part of Serbia that is known as Kosovo. And then, under their protection, allowed an anti-Christian pogrom that led to 155 Serbian churches being destroyed between 1999 and 2004. And ladies and gentlemen, you did not hear about that because the Western media distorts what NATO is doing around the world. By sticking a camera on him, you're just encouraging him. Yeah. Just uh, all you're doing is encouraging him. So please don't put a camera on him. So, ladies and gentlemen, NATO has as one of its members Turkey. Turkey is a country that has never accepted its role in the Armenian genocide. It has never accepted the mass murder of over one million Armenians. It has never apologized. It has never paid reparations, nor has it acknowledged its crimes against the Armenian people. Turkey, a NATO ally, NATO ally has occupied Cyprus since the 1970s. And in that occupation has excluded and ethnically cleansed and religiously cleansed 160,000 Greek Cypriots from Northern Cyprus. Turkey, a member of NATO, has never acknowledged its desecration and occupation of the Hagia Sophia Church, a symbol of world heritage that is currently being abused as a mosque. Turkey, a NATO ally, currently persecutes Kurdish, Kurds within Kurdistan and oppresses the Kurdish people. Turkey, a NATO ally, a NATO ally, persecutes the Christians of Turkey. This is a key member of the NATO alliance, the same NATO alliance that is now condemning Russia. Turkey, a NATO ally, has helped Islamists in Azerbaijan and in Syria who persecuted Christians, Kurds, and Yazidis in Syria, in Kurdistan, and in Armenia. This is Turkey, a member 
of the NATO alliance. That's what he comes here for. The UK That's and the USA are backers of, of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has That's bombed Yemen and has bombed the Yemeni people, killing a hundred thousand people. NATO has no moral high ground to condemn Russia. We in the West must free ourselves, must free ourselves from the lies of the Western media. That isn't to say that what Russia has done is right, but what it does mean is that as citizens of a democracy, we should call out our government to, for being in bed with the Turkish state, a state guilty of genocide, a state guilty of ethnic cleansing, a state guilty of religious persecution, a state guilty of backing Islamist terrorists. You have been called to boycott Russia, and so you should. But when will you also boycott Turkey? When will you boycott Turkish goods? When will you call your government to stop trading with the Turkish state? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the government is hypocritical, so it is time to change our political establishment to one that makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, judge for yourselves whether your government is acting responsibly in condemning Russia for the things that Turkey is guilty of. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. Sir. So why did you? Let me. Do you think the Jews should apologise for killing Jesus? So the question is completely off topic. I was talking about the hypocrisy of Western governments that ally themselves with the Turkish government that is doing everything that Russia is doing. And this man wants me to ask, wants me to answer whether the Jews should apologize for killing Jesus. Why is it that everyone wants to have a go at the Jews? Are there any questions on the topic? This is not a forum for anti-Semitism. What's your question? Unfortunately, there seems to be no intelligent questions on the topic. Last chance. Just, well, do you have a question on the topic? Have you got a question, Dust? And because he loves to Take the camera off him, bro. What's the question? Oh, run away, Bob! Right, he's not asking a question. No question. The question is... What's the question? The question is, why is someone else's mum open for you to abuse? OK. Why is so, it open for you to abuse? So, the topic was... And it was on your video. The topic was about the Western government's hypocrisy of being in bed with the Turkish government that has so done what's that got everything... To do Swear another man's mum has got you every... lost the so, ladies and gentlemen. Is it runaway? It's not got a question. Is it runaway? So, so, 
Why did she use another question? Why did you shit on someone so, else's mum? Ladies and gentlemen, That's the question. ladies said, and gentlemen, you said any question yeah, yeah. about the that topic was a on topic. On topic. Oh, now you're having bro, you just that. what just because he's a blue. Let's just stop filming for a bit. Let's just stop filming for a bit. Yeah, re-edit so he doesn't look like a complete I'm gonna stop. asshole to other people's mothers. Let's just stop filming. Do you know who's abusing other people's mothers? Just need to save your battery. Run just away, save your battery. Run away. Ladies and gentlemen, when, when Dusty's done, I'll come back and have a tell you the conversation. Run away.